Tonight, catching criminals in real time. Cleveland police are turning to technology to respond to problems with a real time crime center. They can use cameras now to identify problems and get to that scene right away. Now, the center was built in 2019 and we got a first look inside just today. Isabel Lawrence reports on the tools that police are using to crack down on crime. The sound of gunshots picked up on ShotSpotter technology that helps identify and pinpoint gunfire and broadcast here to the real time crime center in Cleveland. So it pops up and we're able to tell you exactly what location. This is just one piece of technology Sergeant Jose Garcia says is used at the center in an effort to provide real time information to Cleveland police as they respond to scenes. You know, we like to think of this as a force multiplier. The idea is that when an officer goes to a scene, we can help them by telling them, again, giving them direction to travel, the suspect. We've been able to tell them that the, the male with the gun is literally standing 10 feet away. An important tool in doing that, city cameras, cameras from participating businesses, even officer body cameras, which detectives and civilian investigative research specialists can watch live. There are times where we're actually looking at something before the call was even broadcast. So the officers don't even know what's happening yet. We've already started getting video and we're sending in pictures and video for, to the dispatch so they can give it to the officers before they even know that there's an assignment. Situation awareness software can also determine where officers are and identify nearby cameras. Citizens can also register their home cameras, though Sergeant Garcia says police cannot watch those feeds in real time. He says all of this technology isn't about surveillance. When the crime does happen, we're here to help. That is the only purpose. We're not here watching the cameras, looking for someone jaywalking. Now, I also asked how the center fits in with the current low staffing levels that Cleveland police are currently grappling with. And I was told the center and its technology are designed to make things more efficient. So I was given this example. Say there's a group of teenagers in a neighborhood or a rec center engaging in a fight. Well, if there are cameras nearby, the center can take a look and verify that the incident is indeed happening and then help determine just how many units need to respond. Russ and Laura. Hmm. Isabel Lawrence in downtown Cleveland. Fascinating. Thank you.